All right. Uh, one thing I like to do, especially because we have such a great administrative team here, um, and you know, as you step into those roles, you know that there's gonna be good times and bad times, uh, but I always like to give uh, a point where, uh, give them give them some like, hey, they're, they're here. Uh, Dr. Rutherford, I saw him walk in just a second ago. I know he was up, up at the high school working, and we appreciate so much, all of, all of our administrators, and specifically Dr. Rutherford in this case, for taking the time to be here, support students, because uh, you know, so often they're the person that has to deal with all this stuff. Uh, but they also are the same person that empowers us as educators, empowers these students, gives us the space. So Dr. Rutherford, thank you uh, for being here tonight. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, secondly, uh, as, as you can see, we've switched up to high school. Uh, and, and something we didn't discuss uh, up until uh, uh, so thus far in the, in the, in the show. So, 7th grade, 8th grade, and even the Jazz 2 Ensemble, we will move the ensemble size and just kind of make it fit the instrumentation we have. And we do that because when you see Jazz 1 in a second, you'll notice that it's five saxes, four trombones, five trumpets, and everything's all filled out. We are able to do that because of how we kind of grade this through all of the grades. And then when we get to that high school Jazz 1 Ensemble, we're able to seat the traditional big band ensemble. And that's kind of how we do that. So when you see like, oh, this, set, this group has seven saxes, but the last group had three saxes, that's because we're using the personnel available to us and kind of fitting the ensemble around those students so we can educate those students and create a pedagogical product. So that's something you're seeing uh, right before your eyes. So without further ado, here is the Jazz 2 Ensemble under the direction of Joshua Reed. Thank you. 
Good evening. Thank you for coming out for this uh, portion of the concert tonight. Uh, first off, we're going to start with our first student announcer. Come on up. Hi. Oh, that's loud. Hi, my name is Elijah Akbar. I'm, um, I'm an alto saxophonist, sax saxophonist for the uh, Jazz 2 Ensemble. Um, the piece you just heard was Home for the Holidays by Jerry Nowak, or arranged by Jerry Nowak. Um, featuring our soloist, stand up, Gavin Stevens. I hope you enjoyed that rendition of Home for the Holidays. And we like to give our, our students uh, some opportunities to speak in front of you all. And so it's, it's throughout the concert tonight, you'll, you'll see some of those, our students uh, come out and announce the tunes. Um, and then next up, actually, we're going to have our next announcer. Come on up. Hi, my name is Joe Saucedo. Uh, our next piece tonight will be Away in a Major, arranged by Paul Clark, featuring three solos from Lindsey Dossie, um, uh, me, Joe Saucedo, <laughs> Ayana Galliope. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so one of the unique things about this group uh, that I get to work with, or enjoy getting to work with, are these students who have joined jazz band and kind of branched off of their main instrument in order to be here. Um, so I just wanted to identify some of those some of those guys in this ensemble. That is Lindsay Dossie, normally a clarinet player. She is out here on alto sax in the front row. Uh, we have Gavin Stevens back. We saw heard him play a solo back on the tenor saxophone. He's normally a flute player. Um, we have Finn O'Ring over there on the tenor sax. Again, sitting next to Gavin, she is normally a clarinet. Uh, Joe Saucedo is back there, also on tenor sax, and he's kind of kind of done several different roles for us. Last year he was a bass player, and this year he wanted to, to give it a shot at tenor sax. Uh, and he is normally a clarinet player. Uh, and of course we have Miller Verselka over here on the trumpet. He's normally a tuba player. And Nick Robinson over there on the bass guitar, he is normally a tuba player as well. Um, so, and, and the rest of these guys, uh, Braden on the, on the percussion, and Ethan and Elijah on the front row and on the saxophone. Um, they are on their primary instruments and they are just sh showing me that um, inadvertently, we also have Ayana Galeote <laughs> on the very sax, who is also normally a flute player. Um, so anyway, again, I just wanted to identify those guys and, and just show you, they, they, are, they have taken time to learn a whole new, an, another instrument of, uh, that is not their main instrument in the, the, the main marching band. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give them a round of applause. For them. <laughs> Next up is going to be our next student announcer. Uh, hi, my name is Miller Veselka. As you can see, I play the only brass instrument in this ensemble, unfortunately. <laughs> um, well, what we just played was Away in a Manger by Paul Clark. I knew that. Um, but next, we will be playing. Uh, the Christmas song, otherwise known as Chestnuts Roasting Over an Open Fire, and solos will be featuring uh, let's see, Little Improv by Elijah Akbar and Lindsay, and yours truly. He just, he just wants to have friends in the Brass family, but that's okay.
uh, I just want to identify some of the hard work that these uh, students have done. Uh, and first off, the fact that they're doing jazz band and, and participating in, in through all of the, the craziness that was the marching season, um, they're, these guys are, are awesome. And one of the things that they did back in September was the ATSSB All Region uh, Jazz Auditions. And uh, I just want to kind of show you uh, some, of the, some of the guys in here that have, have participated in that. So if you participated in the All Region Jazz ATSSB Auditions, go ahead and stand up. to say, uh, if you made the all-region band for, for jazz band this year, go ahead and remain standing. <laughs> That's kind of just a true testament. Uh, these two guys, going uh, in, in all of them, really, uh, auditioning for that and, and putting the work in to, to work on th those auditions as well as all of the other things that are on their plate. So they, they really do work hard, and, and I just wanted to outline um, and highlight that. Uh, for you guys. Um, and I'm going to end this section of, the, uh, of our concert by saying, I, I know you've heard it from, from Mr. Nevinson and maybe some of the other group uh, directors, but I just wanted to say for me, I really, really do appreciate all of the support we have. Um, admin and the, I mean, the, the fellow directors that we have, or that I ha get to work with, uh, all of the boosters and the roadies of, of, the, of the band program, and of course, you guys, the parents that are here uh, watching your students, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate and, and all the support that you guys put forth, and it really makes our job a little, a little bit easier, or sorry, immensely easier, uh, just knowing that you guys are all there to support. Uh, so, and also, uh, sorry, I, I left them out not on purpose, but the students as well. Obviously, like, without you guys, this doesn't exist. So, I appreciate all you guys. I'm gonna give all, all you a round of applause. And I'm going to invite our next student announcer to come on up and introduce our last two. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Nick Robinson. I'm a bassist for the Jazz One or Jazz Two. My fault. Um, uh, we're going to be playing for a frown piece, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Johnny Mark. <laughs> 